What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So just before we get into today's video, a little update. We still have the Subi. The Jetta's back and running. Grandpa's yeah, over that way. The Trailblazer's still there. GTI is still there. Now, good news, I actually just got word back from Subaru Ambassador that I'm going to be a Subaru Ambassador. And I might be selling the freaking Subi, which kind of sucks. Because I've been waiting for weeks to hear back from them. And now that I finally did, I'm selling the Subi. Or am I? So the damn Subi has a bad throw up bearing. So when you're replacing the throw up bearing, why not just replace the whole clutch? This is the way I look at it. Car has 146,000 miles on it. So do I just replace the clutch and the throw out bearing and all that happy hairy bull crap? Or do I just get rid of it? So that's kind of where I stand right now. So I'm still am teetering whether or not I'm going to get rid of it or not, but Ugh, I'll just I'll hate to see that gone and then think about every day what it'd be like to have that again Also, I kind of want to be a little bit more involved with you guys So comment just anything down below obviously keep the rude comments to yourself I really don't care to read them But I want you guys to comment down below so I can you know hear your guys opinions on everything what you want me to do next what your thoughts on, you know, the cars, everything. I want to hear it from you guys. So today's video is kind of about something that I've seen a lot of, never tried, but we're going to try it today. So if you guys don't mind, just go ahead and back off. Just, just back off. No. But seriously. Back off! So no, I've actually never tried this stuff before. Now I've contemplated quitting, you know, once or twice before. This freaking weed is driving me insane. <sighs> To those of you wondering, I don't have freaking anger issues! God! But since it's Friday, and we are hashtag team tap water, why not go in and get some tap water while we're making this video and relax? Damn, rednecks in their loud trucks. Ooh, that's depressing. I only have two tap waters left. Now I have no tap waters left. You can lay and rot with the weed that was annoying the hell out of me. So this video is actually going to be a little bit different than our normal dip videos. I'm not doing a full can of this. If this is good, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it. but. As you guys can see, it is not broken, the seal. You can see where I kind of pushed in a little bit right in there, but the seal itself has not been broken. So, kind of another side note, I, I messaged Canadips. They won't sell it out here to Pennsylvania, which is kind of upsetting. Because um, it'd be nice to at least try it, you know. Like, I don't smoke weed or anything, but Canadips would be a cool thing to do. So. I'm curious as to what they are, but I'm not going all the way out to Colorado or someplace that legalized, you know, marijuana that you can go out and do that. So first impressions count big time. So we're going to crack this can for the first time. It smells like bubble gum. It smells like the green Wrigley's bubble gum. What, what is that? Like, I forget what it's called. I, I'm trying to figure out like what the little like shards are inside there. It smells good. It's a little bit thick. Best way to describe it. Let's see how it pinches. Pinches, eh, kind of like chew. It's spread apart there. So I'm going to put in a decent sized pinch of this just because I want to see what it's like ouch ouch <whistles> shit so I have a cut on my thumb I just got that all inside there and it burns now ouch so my first impression is it literally tastes like the green Wrigley's bubble gum, which I think it's like double mint or something. I forget what, what it's called, but it literally is like that. But the stuff doesn't stay packed in your mouth. Like it's not fine enough for me. Like I'm used to obviously like 
Grizzly, which Grizzly is decently fine. Um, this is just kind of like all over the place. Like you really got to move your tongue around and like keep it packed. I mean, I've had no juicing. I don't, I don't even know if it's supposed to juice or anything like that. Like I just talked and it came out of my mouth because it's not staying packed, which is kind of annoying, but I did put a decent size in my mouth. Anyway, we are down one tap water already, one to go. I have to go to the store and get another one before they close. Honestly, now that it's been sitting in my mouth for a little bit, it's not nearly as bad as what I thought it would be. I mean, if you're trying to quit, I think you could get away with not getting the nicotine buzz because I'm, I don't think it's bad. Do I think I'm addicted to nicotine? No. Am I probably? Yeah. But, I don't know, man. I just like chewing and dipping. Like, that's that's what I do. And drinking. A lot. I really am an asshole. I am an asshole. All in all, I don't, like I said, I don't think it's bad. It's just not really my style. It's, even if it were chew... I would say that like I, w I wouldn't even chew that because it's it's just not fine enough for me and I think it's time we just grab some Copenhagen natural put it in your mouth and uh, we'll keep it going honestly though like if I had to choose between back off or skullberry that looks like I'm dipping skullberry for the rest of my life just kidding I can't stand that stuff. It's actually not that bad when you drink it and you throw up 19 times. It happens. If that were the case though, I'd be chewing. Bang on! As we come to the end of our second tap water, I am going to be enjoying my night tonight, going out to my alma mater, watching the Cedar Bowl this this evening and Cedar Crest better win because I hate I hate Lebanon like I that's basically it's like the outskirts versus the city kids is basically what our game is tonight now my little brother who's a sophomore in high school he's in the drum line so if anybody disses the drum line I was in the damn drum line so don't make any smart ass comments also go follow my little brother at Noah McCarrick he always complains about it just follow him he's 15 and young dumb full of cum you might as well just go follow him so he shuts up, please. So, as we conclude this video, if this was your first time watching a video on my channel, I hope you give it a big thumbs up. I hope you guys enjoyed. My goal here is just to entertain people in the life of chewing tobacco, working on cars, drinking tap water, which is actually not tap water. You guys gotta be on my Instagram to know the inside joke about that. It's actually Yangling, which is the she's nudes. Anyway. I'm going to down this real quick, and we will end the video soon. If this was your first time watching a video on my channel, I hope you give it a big thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe, tell your friends, and stay tuned for more videos on my channel. Also, follow me on Instagram, at SnussyCopen. You won't regret it. I try to post videos every single day, normally about five or six times a week. But thank you guys for watching. Till next time, see ya.